Do you like thrill rides? There are over 700 roller coasters in the United States alone. Have you ever wanted to design your own thrill ride and then ride it? You can with engineering. We took three kids to Disney's Epcot theme park in Florida. Today, they'll meet Disney engineers who will show them the science behind the roller coasters. They'll use this newfound knowledge to design, build, and test their own roller coaster on the sum of all thrills. World's first thrill ride that lets you design the track and then experience it. Come along with us as we discover engineering. I love Epcot. Oh my gosh, coming to Epcot was amazing. All we knew is that we were going to do something with engineering, but we didn't know what it was. Hey guys, welcome to Epcot. Are you guys ready to learn about engineering? Yeah. yeah. Meet Lee Wilson and Janice Weiner, two Disney engineers who work to maximize the efficiency and safety of Disney attractions so that you can have fun. Before we let these kids loose in the park, Lee and Janice are going to make sure they know the engineering principles behind the fun. So you guys, do you want to see potential and kinetic energy up close? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Here it is. A basketball. When he first told us about energy and everything, he showed us a basketball and we were all just sort of like, how is that energy? You've probably seen potential and kinetic energy, but you didn't know what it looked like. See, potential is stored energy, so what happens if I let this ball go? It'll fall. It'll bounce back up. It'll fall. It'll bounce, right? It's not doing that because I'm holding it. I'm storing the energy. That is potential energy, right? Mm -hmm. So once I let it go, it bounces. Let me bounce it. Okay? Once it starts moving, that is kinetic energy. At first, I'm like, what's wrong with these people? It's just a basketball. And then he's like, oh, well, you know, it has potential energy because it's all stored there. I'm just holding it. And then he dropped it. And then he said something about it was kinetic energy because it's falling and it's bouncing back up. Now, something that we do with potential and kinetic energy, we take it to the next level and we make something like a roller coaster. Just like with basketball, we raise up a car or a train very high and we build up that potential energy. Then when we let it go, It'll go through the track and do loops and all sorts of really cool things using kinetic energy. So here we have some exercise bands that you can, you can get at any store. What happens when I stretch this exercise band? You're going to hit him in the face. Oh, hold on. Oh, good thinking, Lee. Okay. Safety first. There you go. <laughs> now, when I stretch this exercise band, it becomes potential energy. But when I let it go, it becomes kinetic energy. So, Lee, do we have a, a cool example um, that we take this to the next level with? I think so. You guys want to see it? Yeah. Okay. This is our catapult. All right, just like the exercise bands, what we have are bungee cords here that, as we pull back, we gain more potential energy, and then when we let go, the ball flies over, and that's kinetic energy. Getting more potential energy? basketball and the catapult and try to put the ball inside a basketball hoop but every time the potential energy and when it's released we put too much energy inside that it will always go overboard and hit something else so we had to find the right energy level to hit it in. Are you ready for your design challenge? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Well, what we have here are a bunch of pieces of roller coaster track. You guys are going to build a roller coaster. Now, your roller coaster should have a loop, a turn, and a hill. Are you guys ready? Yeah. All right. Get to it. They just dumped all of this stuff out on the table. So we had to be engineers. So we had this challenge of putting together a roller coaster. It, was a, it really was a challenge. I was thinking that this might take years for me to put together. <laughs> but it really didn't, actually. Where's the little connector thing um, to the screen? Oh, red numbers. Look. OK, so we need a hill, mm -hmm. a curve, and a, what is a it, loop? a loop thing? Yeah. It took us about a long time. First, the hill was too wide, then it was too short, then it was too long. It was just a mess. Halfway through the loop-de-loop, -loop, when it was at the very top, it dropped and it was going way too fast, so around the curve, it just fly off. The kinetic energy on that thing is crazy. I would like to ride that. 
in the loop, it gains more energy because, you know, with height, potential, and it drops and it's gaining energy, and, you know, that's kind of messing us up. We realized that while the marble was going around the loop, it was actually gaining more energy. Well, then why don't we add a hill here? So then we decided to add another hill behind the loop so there was a hill before the loop and then after to slow it down. We all had to work together because all of our ideas put together help us finish the um, roller coaster. All right, guys. All right, how'd you do? Good. Yeah. Does your roller coaster have all the components we asked for? Of course. Yes. We got a hill. And our loop. And our turn. Cool. Well, let's mm -hmm. see it in action. Okay. Very, wow, very great job, good. guys. Very good, very good. All right, so we have potential energy. It goes through the loop. It goes right back up. It gains potential energy again and comes right back out. What did you guys do uh, when you had too much energy? Um, we decided to add another hill to it, so then it slows it down so it has enough to go around the loop. And you notice that you're holding it up higher so it has that potential energy, and it's not using as much kinetic energy when it goes around the curve. Mm -hmm. You know what? This is not the end of your challenge. What? what? It's not. No, no, actually we want you to build another roller coaster, but this time you're gonna get to ride it. Nice. Oh, cool. cool. Very cool. After we finished the challenge, they were all pretty impressed by our roller coaster and they said that we should now build our own roller coaster and actually ride it. He said we can design our own through a ride and ride it. I'm like, how is that gonna happen? They brought us to Interventions, where we were going to build our own roller coaster and actually ride it. All right, so now that you understand the principles of potential and kinetic energy, now you're going to get to create your own attraction. And now you're going to get to experience it here on the Sum of All Thrills. So good luck, guys. All right, good luck. Yeah! yeah. They brought us to an attraction called Interventions, and there we saw the Sum of All Thrills. It was pretty awesome. The name itself got my attention because, you know, I'm like, oh, the sum of all thrills, this is going to be great, you know, and it was. When we first walked into the sum of all thrills, we saw this big, humongous arm moving around, and we're like, we're actually going to ride on that? We're going to make our own roller coaster and everything? It was so amazing. I was a little bit intimidated because I don't like to be flipped around. I like to be on the ground all the time. At first, I'm like, I'm not gonna go on it. I'm gonna puke all over the place, I'm gonna cry. Before we went on the roller coaster, we had to make our own. So there was this big, humongous touch screen, and it had these two tools, a ruler and then a knob. The ruler would make the roller coaster go high or low, and then the knob would increase the speed or lower the speed. Now, choose your vehicle. We got to pick between bobsled, roller coaster and jet you know me being the daredevil that i am i started off on jet because you no know, i'm not trying to be down there on a bobsled forget that and i had like a giant loop to loop and i made it like really long because i could change the height and the speed so you know i cranked up the speed then once i was done i got to upload it i got to ride it i was screaming it was great i got to ride one of something i created i felt great about it and i was like i got to be in the shoes of an engineer of course mine only took five minutes but theirs could take years at a time I might be ready for that. I'm ready for that. When I did it without the flips, I'm like, come on, I can go more hardcore than this. So then we did to the six flips, and that was pretty awesome. It was pretty beast. That was awesome. That was amazing. This day was truly amazing. I give it a 50 out of 10. It's taught me being an engineer can be fun, challenging, and slightly frightening at the same time. So I'm hoping one day I could become an engineer. The kids did a great job. So Lee and Janice presented them with a special award. Meeting Lee and Janice was a lot of fun. They were full of so much energy. What inspired me about them is that they're really passionate about their jobs and they actually like were really proud to do what they were doing. I actually want to be an engineer now. I'm glad I had the chance to discover engineering. I'm glad I got to discover engineering. You should too.